Hey guys, welcome back to Coding Stuff, and this is part five of our Kotlin To Do app. And in the previous part, we successfully fetched the data from Firebase, and we also implemented delete functionality there. Now in this video, we'll work on update functionality, and with that, we'll also work on backstack management of fragments with navigation component. And I'll put source code in the description box. So if you have some errors, you can check with that. And still, if your errors doesn't solve, you can DM me on Instagram. So if you remember in the to do adapter, we had this, uh, let's just open this first. Okay, so we had this uh, card view and inside that we have this one edit pen. And in the to do adapter, we added on click listener on this edit button. And we need to implement it in the home fragment you can see not yet implemented so we need to take care of that so when user clicks on this uh, edit button we want to display him pop-up dialog fragment just like uh, we displayed pop-up dialog fragment when user clicks on that add button from the home fragment if you remember this add button so when a user clicks on this add button from home fragment we show him dialog fragment with fresh edit text like there was nothing in that edit text but when user clicks on this edit button from each to do item we want to display a pop-up dialog fragment with show him existing task here okay so let's just close this close this and close this so in the home fragment we need to implement this on edit text button clicked when we click on that edit pen but before that we need to do something in the add to do pop-up fragment okay so if you rem remember in the register events function we added on click listener to this add button home and we directly call this add to do pop-up fragment constructor the default constructor but with edit task uh, with but with edit functionality we also want to send some data to this pop-up dialog fragment and display it on the edit text so for that we'll create one companion object the static block you can say if you are coming from java background i'll create one tag here so tag just name it as add to do pop-up fragment cool and then we'll write one annotation which will be gvm static and we'll create one method which will be new instance and we need to pass some parameters here like the task and the task id so let's just pass one task id here and it will be a type task string and then we'll pass task itself it will be type of string and this will be equals to or default constructor add to do pop-up dialog fragment dot apply and in the next block we'll write arguments we'll set the arguments so arguments equals to bundle dot apply and inside the apply we'll just put the strings for string uh, the key will be task id and the value will be task id sorry put string again this will be task and the value will be task cool now at the top i'll create one var of type to do data this one this will be of type to do data and we'll make it nullable so i'll I'll give it value as a null at the beginning then in the on view created just before this register events we'll have one check as if the arguments not equals to null so if there is an argument passed from the home fragment it means user want to update the task so we'll just set it to okay before that uh, let's just initialize our to do data here so to do data equals to to do data and we'll pass the task id and task 
itself so we'll get that from the arguments so arguments dot get string and this will be task id and the second parameter will be arguments giving it to convert it to string so to string arguments dot dot get string and the key will be task itself so we will convert it to string and I'll press alt ctrl l to reformat the code cool so now when we set this to do data we can just set our edit text so to do et dot set text and we'll get the data from the to do data dot task as this is unable we need to add the question mark and in the register events the last thing that we need to do so if the to do task is not empty that is the condition when we want to save the task here we can check if our to do data is equals to null as we already made it nullable so if user is just uh, adding the new task the to do data will be null but if user is updating the task to do data will not be null so it will come to the else condition now we need to handle it over here so we can just set the to do data's task to this to do task what we received from the edit text so i can just write to do task question mark and we'll go to the to do data just open this we need to change it to where and this will be happy cool now uh, as we call on save task method here we'll create similar method in the interface this time it will be on update task cool and instead of passing this task only we also want to pass task id to update the task so for that I'll directly pass to do data here cool and now in the else condition I can just call listener dot on update task I'll pass this to do data and I'll pass the edit text as well to clear it so to do et okay cool So add to do fragment is done. Now we need to work on home fragment. So as you can see, we got one error. It, it will ask us to implement on update task. So we'll just implement it, but we'll come back here later. First, we need to implement this because first we'll display the uh, pop-up dialog fragment and then we'll update the task. Okay, so before doing that, we need to do one change when we create our pop-up fragment we'll also make it on a label so in this right equals to null so this will come this will be in a label and we need to remove the late in it as it is already initialized as a null then we'll go down here okay we can just assert okay so when we add uh, when we click on this add button we create one instance of pop-up dialog fragment but before that we need to have one check which will be if the pop-up fragment is not equals to null so if uh, the instance of pop-up fragment is already there we'll just remove it and we'll create new one so child fragment manager dot begin transaction dot remove We'll pass this pop-up fragment and dot commit cool so this is how we'll prevent uh, creating multiple instance of our pop-up fragment so yeah guess there is one error so here uh, we just need to add non null assert okay so now we can directly work on this on edit task button clicked so in here we'll similarly have that check if the pop-up fragment is 
not equals to null we need to clear it so child fragment manager dot begin transactions dot remove we need to pass the pop-up fragment dot commit cool so now in the next line what we'll do we'll write pop-up fragment will initialize the pop-up fragment with the help of new instance so I'll just write add to do dialog fragment dot new instance as you can see I need to pass the task ID here so to do data task ID to do data task cool and then we'll again call that set listener method here so set listener will pass this and we need to add this non null assert so if you remember uh, we set the listener over here as well as you can see so in the both ways it will implement these two methods on save and on update task on save and on update task cool so to this we can just display this pop-up fragment so dot show and in this we need to pass the child fragment manager and the tag so add to do the tag okay and I can just copy this since we have the static tag we will just call it simply over there as well so yeah that is done for the edit task button clicked now we need to work on this on update task and it is pretty simple so first of all I'll create one map because uh, firebase update functionality works with only maps so we'll create one map this will be type of hash map we'll pass the string and we'll pass any here cool to do data dot task id equals to to do data dot task and then I'll just call this database ref I'll call this firebase function which is update children and in this we need to pass the map okay so we are mapping the value and the key together okay so this is the key and this is the value we just want to update this key with this value okay so now we can just add on complete listener to it so just okay let's just have the checks of it if it is successful or not and we can have else to it and we can copy this code of toast we'll paste it over here I'll copy this I'll paste it over here and this time it will be updated successfully and after the both ways we'll dismiss the pop-up fragment dot dismiss okay so and yeah uh, we also need to make this edit text as a null so it will be blank after submitting successfully so yeah let's just or we can just paste it over here instead of writing in this successful only we also want to clear it when if there is an error cool okay so as everything is done uh, we can run this application and also open the google chrome with our firebase real-time db so the task auth id and the push can this and its value so the app has been installed and the task has been loaded so now i'll try to update this task 3 so i'll click on this and as you can see task 3 has been already here so i'll just name it as a task test i'll click on this button and yeah update it successfully as you can see it is updated over here as well so let's just try to add another task let's just try anything and click on this cool let's just try to update it to like ttt cool 
so this functionality is working let's just try to check the delete functionality here okay fine so it is working too so now we in, we need to work on the back stack of our app so if i press back you can still see this splash screen so we need to make we need to open our now graph and just close other files so close other tabs and i guess uh, we already worked on the splash fragment for oh, conditions so yeah okay so let's just close this project view let's just open the split mode and yeah this one so it is really simple to work on back stack management with navigation component okay you'll see the magic now i just have to write here pop up to splash fragment this one and i just need to make this pop up to inclusive to true now if i rerun the app and if i press back now app will be closed okay so that is the power of navigation component so what i'll do i'll just copy these two things from here and i'll paste it in this as well and we'll do similar with this sign in fragment as well so from here i'll make it instead of splash fragment i'll just need to write sign in fragment i'll copy this and i'll paste in this action as well and with this sign up fragment this should be sign up cool and this one too this should be sign up okay so this will work brilliantly if you run the app now so i'm not gonna do it because i already just tested it so yeah you can just play with this pop-up to inclusive to know more about it you can just try false value here and you'll get to know about it okay so that was all for this tutorial series in the next series i uh, will create one app with firestore database and we'll be using mvvm architecture there and room database as well in kotlin so yeah do subscribe for that and thank you for watching